Hi, this is Stan Lyle with Master Math. During the lesson, you're going to come to some You Try It slides where you're asked to do problems that relate to the lesson. Hit your pause button, try the problem, and then hit the forward key to move on to the answer. I hope you have a really good time today. Today we're going to be talking about solving inequalities with multiplication and division. And solving inequalities with multiplication and division is just like solving equalities with multiplication and division, except for one really big fact, which we'll discuss in a minute. But let's start out with a simple problem. Let's say you want to have a party for your dog. He's a great dog. He's, it's his birthday, and, and you want him to have a good time, and you want to invite some other dogs to celebrate with him. But there's some limitations. You've only got $20 to spend on this party. And you want to buy party favors for the dogs that cost $3 each. Well, let's let D equal the number of dogs that we invite to this party. And if we multiplied the number of dogs we invited to this party, D, times $3, we'd have the total amount we were going to spend on party favors for the dogs. But since we only have $20 altogether, that total amount that we spend has to be less than $20. Could we write that as an inequality? Sure we could. It looked like this. $3 times the number of dogs that we invite to the party has to be less than or equal to $20. Now could we solve that inequality to find out how many dogs we were going to invite? Well, yeah, we could. We could divide both sides of the inequality by 3, and then we get D is less than or equal to 6.666. Now, you couldn't invite 6.666 dogs. I mean, dogs only come in whole units. Could you invite 7 dogs? No, because 7 would be too big. It has to be less than 6.666, and the first whole number less than 6.666 is 6. So D really has to be less than or equal to 6. Well, solving that last inequality was just like solving an equation. And when you're dealing with positive numbers, Solving inequalities with multiplication and division is exactly like solving equations. You know that 6 is less than 10. And if I multiply both sides of this inequality by 2, it's still going to be true. 12 is less than 20. You also know that 16 is more than 10. And if I divide both sides of this inequality by 2, it's still true. 8 is larger than 5. But, if you're using negative numbers and multiplying or dividing in an inequality, you need to reverse the inequality sign. 4 is greater than 2. But if I multiply both sides of this inequality by minus 1, I have to reverse my inequality sign because minus 4 is less than minus 2. And let's start with 4 is greater than 2 again. If I divide both sides by a negative number, in this case minus 2, then I have to reverse my inequality sign because minus 2 is less than minus 1. So, solving inequalities with multiplication and division is just like solving equations, except when you multiply or divide both sides of the inequality by a negative number, 
then you must reverse the inequality signs. Let's look at an example. Let's say you had this inequality and you were asked to solve it. Well, you remember from equations that there are one-step and two-step solutions, and it's true in inequalities, too. This looks like a two-step solution because I've got to get rid of a 2, and I've got to get rid of a minus 4, so I can isolate my x. And just like with equations, you want to get rid of the 2 first. You want to get rid of the pluses and minuses before you deal with the multiplications and divisions. So, I want to subtract 2 from both sides of the inequality. And I can subtract 2 from both sides of the inequality and not change the inequality sign. So I could then rewrite this as minus 4x is larger than or equal to 10. Well now, i got to get rid of that minus 4. It's minus 4x, and that really means minus 4 times x. So to get rid of it, I would have to do the opposite of multiplying by minus 4. I'd have to divide by minus 4. But if I divide by minus 4, that's, multi that's division by a negative number. I have to turn my inequality sign around. And it would read minus 4x divided by minus 4 is less than or equal to 12 divided by minus 4. And I can then simplify that to x is less than or equal to minus 3. Now, I hope you remember how you can graph that on a number line. Let's, let's try that. If we had a number line here, first thing we'd want to do is start out at minus 3. And it's less than or equal to minus 3. So it would include minus 3, and we'd want to put a closed circle on the minus 3 spot on the number line. By filling in that circle, it means that the minus 3 is included in our solution set. And then we want numbers that are less than or equal to minus 3. So we draw an arrow to the left towards the smaller numbers. Now you try this one. Hit your pause button, try the problem, and then hit the forward key to move on to my answer. Well, this one's easy. We start with 3x is larger than 9. And I want to isolate the x, so I have to divide both sides of the inequality by 3. And since 3 is a positive number, it works just like an equation, and the inequality sign won't turn around. Now, after I divided both sides of the inequality by minus 3, it simplifies to x is larger than 3. And if I wanted to draw that on a number line, I'd start with that 3. And it's larger than 3. It doesn't include 3. It's not larger than or equal to 3. So I'm going to put an open circle on 3, because that's where I'm going to start, but it doesn't include 3. And it's larger than 3. x is larger than 3. So I want to draw an arrow towards the larger numbers. And that's what my number line would look like. The school bus holds a maximum of 25 students. Write and solve an equation to find the least number of trips it would require to transport 227 kids. Well, like most word problems, this would be a little bit easier to understand if we see you see see it. So I'm going to circle the numbers and I'm going to underline the question. And the question is, write and solve an equation to find the least number of trips it would require to transport 227 kids. That's what we're trying to find out. That's what we're trying to solve for the least number of trips. So let's call that x. x is the number of trips. Now, 
I can get 25 students in each trip. So if I took one trip, it would be 1 times 25. If I took two trips, it would be 2 times 25. And I'm going to take X trips. So it would be X times 25. And X times 25 has to be greater than or equal to 227 kids. So I could write that expression, 25X is greater than or equal to 227. Now, to solve for X... I need to divide both sides of the inequality by 25 in order to isolate the x. And when I do that, I get x is larger than or equal to 9.08. Well, bus trips don't come in partials. You've got to either have a full bus trip or none at all. So I need a whole I need a whole number. And X has to be larger than 9.08, so the first whole number larger than 9.08 is 10. Solve the inequality 6 minus 2z is larger than 15. Well, this looks like a two-step solution. I need to subtract 6 from both sides, and I can do that without changing the direction of the inequality sign, because I can add or subtract without changing the inequality sign, so then that would simplify to minus 2x is larger than 9. Well, now i got to get rid of that minus 2x. And again, that's minus 2 times x. So to get rid of a minus 2 times x, I'm going to divide both sides of the inequality by minus 2. But when I divide both sides of an inequality by a negative number, I have to turn the inequality sign around. So now it reads minus 2x divided by minus 2 is less than 9 divided by minus 2. And that simplifies to x is less than minus 4.5. That's our lesson on solving inequalities with multiplication and division. I hope you learned a lot. Now let's go test that skill. Go to www.mastermath.info and download the worksheet on solving inequalities with multiplication and division. After you've done the worksheet, go back to Master Math and try the quiz on solving inequalities with multiplication and division. And be sure you come back and see us again soon.